This is the Reinhardt Labor and Employment Minute. I'm Rob Driscoll, and I'm joined today by my partner, Brittany lopez Nallet. Uh, Brittany is one of our in-house safety experts um, and has been advising employers on all things COVID since the pandemic started earlier this year. Um, the latest issue to face employers is uh, concerns vaccinations for employees in the workplace. As the vaccine becomes more and more available to more and more individuals, employers are going to be faced with a choice whether to mandate that their employees receive the vaccine. And so, Brittany, I guess question I have, the first question I have is, um, can employers mandate the coronavirus vaccine? And relatedly, if so, you know, should they mandate it? Sure. To answer your first question, generally employers have the option to mandate a vaccine program. Um, I think the second question is the more important question and that's should they? So you're gonna wanna assess a number of factors. The first one being the nature of your workplace. You know, are, are you a high risk facility doing something like healthcare, um, senior living? Obviously, as we've seen certain manufacturing like meatpacking, there have been high instances of cases. Um, you know, have you been able to minimize exposure within your workplace to a sufficient level? And would a mandatory vaccine program need to apply to all employees or certain classes of employees? The second big consideration is workplace morale. As we know, there's a lot of um, vaccine hesitancy. And so if you have a mandatory program and you have a large portion of your employees that may refuse and not be granted an accommodation, how will it impact your workplace to have those employees potentially out of the workforce? So those are gonna be really the big considerations for whether a mandatory program is a good fit for your workplace. Now, I mean, that, that sounds like a, you know, a lot of steps that an employer has to go through to decide one way or the other. And I assume if they go through that process and decide that a mandatory vaccination program is right for them, um, that it also has to be implemented only with a lot of planning. So what should employers do as part of a mandatory program to make sure it goes as smoothly as possible? So there's gonna be a couple of steps you wanna go ahead and even now start thinking about. The first one is to communicate with your employees, your decision and how you got to that process. You know, Emphasize the benefits of a mandatory vaccination program. Make sure that they have credible information about the vaccines. You know, Provide information from the CDC and from the Wisconsin DHS to help alleviate some of that hesitancy. You'll also want to um, be prepared on how you're gonna handle confidential medical information related to vaccines and related to that, you know, how you're going to process accommodation requests. Yeah, I think that's that's a really important point about the accommodation request, right? Um, for, for any policy, employers are used to dealing with employees that ask for exceptions or um, to be exempted from a policy. I'm sure this would be no different. Um, so are there kind of legally mandated exemptions that employers have to be aware of uh, if they mandate vaccine? Um, and, and if so, what, what should they be on the lookout for when employees approach them for exemptions? Yeah, so those are the two big um, exemptions are gonna fall under the Americans with Disabilities Act or Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. So uh, in either situation, the employer is gonna need to do an individual assessment to determine the risk that that individual would pose if unvaccinated in the workplace. And then is there a reasonable accommodation that won't result in an undue hardship that will allow this employee to work without an accommodation? And that could be things like remote work, but it also may entail things within the workplace. Um, it's gonna be important for employers to remember the undue hardship standard differs based on whether the um, request comes under the Americans with Disabilities Act or Title VII. Under Title VII, an undue hardship is just, it's more of a de minimis standard. So it's a lot lower. So that's why I mentioned earlier, these requests are gonna take time. They're gonna take some going back and forth through the interactive process. So you wanna get a head start on that so you don't delay the vaccine program. Okay, so it seems like the bottom line then for uh, mandatory vaccines is that employers can require them, but only some should do so, and only then with kind of careful planning to avoid these legal issues that, come, that could come up. So, well, thanks Excellent. to our audience for joining us today. Um, this has been the Reinhardt Labor and Employment Minute.